I'm going to demonstrate how to do a, a spreadsheet upload into Pedigree Master. So doing a spreadsheet upload is a great way that you can input several records all at one time rather than having to go through and put in all your WAMs individually. So to start this, we're going to start off with just a basic Excel spreadsheet. And we start off with the IDs just like any other time. Okay, but when we actually go to put in our ID numbers, we need to change the input format of how we're going to put those numbers into each cell. So in general, the default format is general or a number, okay? but Excel doesn't like uh, any numbers that are over 15 digits long. Over 15 digits long, it changes it into scientific notation. So we're going to change the input type to a text input format. So we're going to change it from general. We come down here and we click on text. And now we can put in all 16 digits without it changing into scientific notation for us. So now we're going to go ahead and put in all the rest of the data that we have on each one of those lambs. So we can start off with our sex, our birth type, our conception method, status, um, any information that we have on those uh, lambs. But it's important to note that these columns can be in any order that we choose to put them in. But what's important is the column heading for each of those. Okay, so for example, birth type has to be abbreviated as BT. It can't be anything else. You can't spell out birth type. You can't put periods in there. It has to be, it has to read BT. For rear type, it has to read RT. So for a list of what those column headings have to be, you can look on page 21 of the Pedigree Master Manual, and it'll spell out all the column, uh, commonly used column headings. <clears throat> If you don't see the column headings that you need on that list, there's also a link there on page 21 of the manual that will take you to a website that has each one of the column headings that you might need. So we're also going to put in the sire and the dam of these animals, contemporary group. We can get out here into our weaning and our post weaning weights. Um, this is all just example data. You'll put in whatever information that you have. But again, you need to look up what these column headings have to be uh, in order to make sure that they go in there correctly. Another important thing to note is that we can't have any blank cells within our data. So, for example, this lamb right down here, we didn't have a weaning weight for that animal. So instead of leaving a blank cell, I'm going to put an asterisk. Okay. So that tells uh, the system that there's no uh, information for that animal for that time point. If we leave a blank cell, the order of our data is going to uh, get off, so we need to make sure we put a asterisk in each blank cell if we don't have a record for it. <clears throat> so once we get all the data in there that we need, we're going to save this file. Okay, so we just click on File. We're going to click on Save As. Okay, so I'm just going to save mine onto the desktop so I can uh, make sure I can find it. Okay, you can save it wherever you'd like. Just make sure you can know uh, know where it is. And the default in Excel is going to save it as an Excel workbook but we need to save it as a tab delimited file. So we go down here to save as type, we click on the arrow, and we come down here to text tab delimited. Okay, so we select tag, text tab delimited, then we click on save. Okay, mine already exists, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it. Okay, and it's gonna pop up a couple warning messages. It's gonna say that the selected file type doesn't support multiple sheets, we can click on okay. And the second one will uh, come up that some features might be lost, which is okay. So again, we click on yes. So now we have it saved as a text file, and we're finished with our spreadsheet. Now we're just going to open up our Pedigree Master. From the home screen, we'll click on Reports and Utilities. And we're going to click on the Advanced tab. Under Advanced, we'll come over to Importing. We'll click on Importing, and right here in the center of the screen, we have General Importing Main Database. So we're going to go ahead and click on General Importing Main Database, and a warning message will pop up saying that this procedure has got the ability to overwrite or append any data that's currently in there. And it's going to ask, do you have a current backup? So again, it's always a good idea to create a current backup before you uh, do any data input, uh, whether you're doing it individually or as a spreadsheet. So make sure you've got a current backup um, saved before we go ahead and do this. So, we already have our current backup, so we'll click on yes. A new dialog box will come up. We're going to select the file. So here we can browse wherever we save that file. So I save mine onto the desktop. 
Maybe I saved it as um, spreadsheet example copy two. I'll select that and click on OK. So now, before we go ahead and actually import that file, we can view the file to import. So we'll click on that, and the file is going to come up. This is our spreadsheet that we just uploaded, and this gives you a chance you can look through and see if you made any errors. Okay. These column headings might not be exactly over the column that you're looking at, but that's okay. The system will figure it all out, and we don't have to worry about that. So once we've looked through that, we can come down here to Import File. Okay. Once we click that, it says it's imported to the temporary database. Okay, so we click on OK for import finished. And then it's going to ask us to check the main data table. Okay, it says that it's um, used to check and preview the information before we finish things off. So it'll bring up the main data table. And again, we can check through here again. Just double check, make sure we don't have any errors in our data. Um, make sure we didn't make any typos. Once you're uh, happy with the data, we can go ahead and click Close Window. Then we can then finalize things by clicking Update the Main Database. Once we click that, it'll say the number of records that you added. So 15 records were added. Okay. And since these were all new animals, I didn't uh, update anything. It says zero records were updated or modified. Now, if you already have current data in there, say you um, already put in the pedigree information, birth type, rearing type, and you had weaning weights already put in. And now you're adding post weaning weights. Okay, If you're just adding post weaning weights, it will say zero records added, but then 15 records were updated. So it won't overwrite the existing information in there, it'll just add to it. Okay. So we click on OK. And then if you added anything to the visual database, um, that's OK. Now, if you happen to make any errors, if you see anything, um, figure out anything that you happen to, uh, to mess up, you can always click on undo import. Okay? But from there, all your animals should be in the main database. You can go back to your main screen, you can find them in your pedigree display, and all the information will be up updated. Again, if you have any questions on this, you can feel free to visit the Pedigree Master uh, manual or visit the NSIP website at nsip.org for more information.